You can you can live, you can work, you can you can buy your groceries, you can uh, uh, meet up with your new people without even knowing their language. The only Kurdish and Arabic I know is just from you know just from like working on job sites with locals, but for the most part in this general area here in Ankawa. Um, I would say 80% of the people speak English, so it's not difficult to communicate. I speak Arabic, which gives me a great advantage in terms of the people who understand, like the majority of the people here understand that, so I don't exactly speak the local language, but I speak something very similar, so in that way I manage. But if I didn't speak a word of Arabic, that would probably be difficult. It's very close to the Iranian language, which I'm kind of familiar, Farsi, so it's a, it's a bit, uh, you could uh, hear some same vocabulary words from the Kurdish language. Definitely, but uh, that's thanks to uh, Arabic being my first language. I would imagine for someone who speaks English as their first language or second, it would be a bit more challenging to make your way around. Well, it's nothing similar to what we heard before. So, in that regard, you know, you have to, you have to um, open your mind and uh, maybe put in a little bit more effort than what, would you, what you would do if you're learning French or German or some other language. But it's also exciting at the same time. It has generally been difficult for me to learn the language because I live in Ankawa and the people speak two uh, languages, which is um, Athuri, Kildani, um, Arabic, English, and there are two dialects of Kurdish. So I haven't been really able to learn the local language as such. Uh, if you want to go deep in legal issues, if you want to, to, to get a residential permit, you need to, to know, at least know someone that know, knows the language. So it would be helping you. But I do recommend that uh, if you have the opportunity or if you're one of those people that learns languages easily to, to learn the language because it opens new doors for you. Um, for example, whenever you're going to meet with ministries or with the Kurdish intelligence or anything like you have an issue with the police, whatever, you get a different level of respect out of it whenever you speak the local languages. And, and people love that when they, they, you go to a home and you say greetings and speak in Kurdish, they respect that and they love you for that. It's a, it's a, it's a I don't know, it's difficult to explain. But it's, it's nice, the feeling is nice, because you feel part of the, of the society, you are not foreign anymore. So I encourage everyone uh, to, to learn basic, and that show respect to, to the people, and you, you, get, you closer get closer to, to, 